there my name is Kate and welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I plan my video upload schedule now this video is filmed still in 2020 as you know if you've been on my channel before I upload um, in three month sessions so I upload January through March May through July and September through November and then the off months which are April, August, and December I only upload a before the scenes and a choreography video. The first step in this process is to pick the days that I'm uploading. As you know I upload on Fridays because I upload Friday the 13th videos so I go through my phone, look to see if there are any Friday the 13th, if I scroll down I see that there are no Friday the 13th, Friday the 13th from January, February, or March. So there's actually only one Friday the 13th in 2021, <laughs> and it's in August, which is my For the Scenes and Choreography video month. So um, it's gonna be a creepy, <laughs> very creepy um, choreography video. So stay tuned for that. Now if there was a Friday the 13th during these three months, then I would take that Friday the 13th and I upload every two weeks. So I would go like two weeks before that and then like so on until I get to the beginning of that month and then two weeks after that until I get to the end of that month. And that is the days that I upload. So it all goes around Friday the 13th. But in this case, when there's not a Friday the 13th, I kind of go by Usually I'll just start at the beginning of the month, but if there is like a specific date that I'm looking for and that happens to be on a Friday or like the week of like an upload, um, then I would choose like that Friday to base everything else around, base all my other video uploads around. So the second thing I do is write in this notebook. I am uploading Fridays, January through March. And I also have the dates written. So in January there's three upload dates, February there's two, and March there is also two. And over here I have specific dates. The 14th of February, that is actually my 10 year anniversary of my period, so I will be uploading a video um, on that. The 16th of January was when I uploaded my first video. And then also the 24th of February was when I uploaded my first anxiety video. So the third step is to go in to this little notebook. It is on a blank page right now because this is where I keep all of my video ideas. So I'm going to go to the beginning of that and I'm just going to look through those and just put a little mark next to the ideas that I would want to do. This is um, the session where it, it, it does mark like my five year anniversary or anniversary on YouTube. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna be videos like pertaining to that. I don't wanna so obviously the first video um, on the 1st of January will be an updates video. All we love and then on, <laughs> on March 26th, which is the day you're watching this, it's going to be the video creating process. Not video creating process. Ooh, did I write that one down? I think I did. For February 14th, which is really the February 12th video, um, that is the 10 year anniversary of when I got my period, so I'm gonna do my first period story. And then the next video that I have is going back to January, January 15th. So that is a day before my first uh, upload onto YouTube. And these days could change, it might not be uploaded on a Friday if I want to keep it at that day. So like since the 16th is a Saturday, I might just move that upload. I think I'm going to do YouTube show and tell. I'm writing the names in parentheses. That just gives me an idea of what video is going to be uploaded at that time. For my anxiety video, I definitely want to do an updated anxiety kit. Oh, yeah, see when I go through this, there's videos where I'm like, I definitely want to do that, so I have to make room. 
so when you only upload every two weeks, it is more difficult. And I think I just figured out which videos I want to do. So at this point, I have it narrowed down enough that I'm just going to write the remaining videos down here. Okay. So I have two videos left. There's another video that I really want to upload because I think I've kind of like kind of got that balance down. And it's like how I balance and tips on how to balance um, YouTube with school, work, a social life. Um, just kind of balancing everything in your life together. I believe I mentioned this in a past video, which would have been like six months ago now. Um, that I've, yes I did, in an updates, in my September updates video, I talked about how I wanted to talk more about sustainability. I am a marine science major and I want to focus on conservation. The two sustainable videos that I have written down here are like, I'm gonna give you like brands that are sustainable that I love. Um, and then just tips on how to be sustainable, but I might, that'll be a very long video because there's a lot of sustainable brands. Oh, how to like shop sustainably. So balancing schoolwork and YouTube, I feel like I would want to put that at January 29th, but that's right after YouTube show and tell. So I think I'm going to put it, I don't even know if I'm pointing to the right place, like over here um, at March 12th, because that's right before this video that you're watching right now, which work because I talk about my video schedule here. So let's do that. Okay. So I have one more video slot. Usually it doesn't take this short of an amount of time, but I was kind of like, I feel like I'm always kind of thinking ahead to the next session. Like what I want to do. Um, I know that the session after this one, <laughs> which at this point in December of 2020, I've not planned yet, but I know that I'm redoing my pacer test video. So I know that that session is going to be more about fitness. Um, spoiler alert. So I think I'm going to do like how to shop sustainable. And in that video, I can mention some brands. Um, I'm going to have to, if I'm showing you how to shop sustainably. I have, like, I have to think about like what ideas I have for these videos. Obviously sustainability is a huge part of my life so I already know the tips on how to shop sustainably because I do and I already know sustainable brands because those are the brands that I shop at. That's my video schedule. <laughs> Now, if this changes, which my video schedules usually change, I usually edit them. I don't do them in this quick amount of time. Um, if my video schedule does change, I will get back on this video and obviously let you know about the changes and why I'm changing. Well, <laughs> uh, my video uploads changed and the book, the notebook that I didn't show you in uh, the previous section of this video is in this notebook right here I write down the date the video and how long the video was for all of my videos and then also once I upload a video I cross it out of this book that has all my ideas in it. So my updates video is supposed to be uploaded on January 1st. It was actually uploaded on January 2nd. Uh, YouTube show and tell was supposed to be uploaded on the 15th of January, but I said I kind of wanted it to be uploaded on the same day as my first upload, which was the 16th. And that is when it was actually uploaded. Uh, How to Shop Sustainably was supposed to be uploaded on the 29th of January, and it was my first period story. Like I said, that video was supposed to be, as in if it was on a Friday, it would be on the 12th of February, but I wanted it to be on the 10 year anniversary of my period. So I uploaded it on the 14th, and that's when it was uploaded. Uh, my updated anxiety kit was supposed to be uploaded on the 26th, which was the Friday, but I wanted to try to get it uploaded on the same day that I uploaded my first ever anxiety video. 
but then looking back on it it just kind of made more sense to upload it on the Friday because my first ever anxiety video wasn't my anxiety kit so it wasn't really like a four year anniversary of my anxiety kit um, so it didn't really matter much to me if it went up on the 24th or the 26th and as you've seen in some of my videos even though I say that my upload day is Friday sometimes they are uploaded Saturday if I just don't have time to edit or film um, I usually like to film the video the week before it has to be uploaded sometimes that just doesn't happen um, just with my schedule and mentioning schedules that video on how to balance school work YouTube hobbies um, that was not uploaded <laughs> and the reason that it wasn't was because I realized that I actually did not have everything balanced very well um, and I kind of realized that when I was trying to plan out my schedule for April the last video of this session which is this video you're watching now is going to be uploaded on March 26th I have already started editing that first part of the video and right after I film this I'm going to edit this part and it is still a week before it has to be uploaded. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Remember to like and subscribe to be notified whenever I upload and I will see you in April. That's... I'm filming this in December. <laughs> in April with the before the scenes and choreography videos that I wanted to upload last April. So that choreography video is literally over a year in the making, so I really hope that you enjoy it. Bye!